What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about the green CP tree and how a lot of people in the community wanted to see changes to the green CP tree in update 34 in the High Isles chapter, but unfortunately that's not really the case. There's a lot of big changes people are wanting to see to the green tree itself. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description below, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you enjoy the content here on the channel, be sure to hit that sub button as well. When it comes to the green CP tree, I've made a video about this in the past, how a lot of people in the community really want to see the green CP tree have a lot more passives and a lot less things that are needed to kind of to be slotted. Some players have even gone far as saying the whole thing needs to be passives. And I can understand why the green tree is a bit frustrating because there are some good things there. You have your angler's instinct, gifted rider, homemaker, liquid efficiency, of course, master gatherer, uh, professional upkeep, uh, plentiful harvest, uh, rationer. Uh, there's a lot of things here. Steed's blessing, treasure hunted, uh, treasure hunter, excuse me, war mount, and a lot more after that, of course. Um, it's kind of one of those things, in my opinion, that when you look at it as a whole, there are a few things, you know, that are going to be used pretty much on every build, especially if you're on a DPS style character. But if you're on a farming character, if you're on a character, maybe, you know, farming motifs, no nope, farming uh, material, whatever the case may be, you'll be changing a lot of these up. Of course, if you like to fish, you'll be changing some of these things up as well. Of course, there's some ways you can get some better speed out of your mounts, speed, uh, you know, out of combat, that kind of stuff. And I think overall, Zoss really could look at the green CP tree in general. And if they don't want to make everything passives in the green CP tree, give us some good options, maybe a couple new things that are, you know, that could be used or be useful. And then everything else I think really could probably be passives because a lot of people don't really like how you have to go in and, you know, change so much that making, you know, kind of without, I guess a lot of people look at it, they may think it's going to be kind of overpowered in general if you make everything passives but at the same time a lot of people get frustrated with how many things are in that green tree that actually have to be slotted and if you are a newer player you don't have enough cp you're not going to have enough points to put into everything to try everything out you're going to kind of have to pick and choose what you want of course pick and choose the ones that are needed you know that you have to have if you're, if you're playing dungeons and trials and things like that and it is for normal combat but then those other smaller things those other smaller slottable uh, slottables like i said that are for fishing that are for gathering that are you know, for anything really else that you want to do, some people may not be able to use those or experience those for a good while into the games, uh, you know, or into their kind of time played within the game. So hopefully Zoth in the future will look at the Grant and CP tree and try to figure out some way to work with or, or, or make a workaround or figure out a new way to kind of make some of these things, I think, um, I, I guess you would say some, some more options for passives and maybe some better options for slottables. That way a lot of people don't feel like they're just really kind of stuck trying to figure out exactly what they want to do with the green CP tree in general. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.